my name is Frédéric and I'm a French Canadian painter who uh, specializes with acrylic and more specifically uh, portraits and the occasional landscape. I've been painting since I was 12, but I took a year, uh, 10 year long uh, hiatus from painting from age 17 until March of 2020. I have been sharing my work on social media and I've come to realize that, you know, with the small captions that very few people read, to be honest, uh, when I share my paintings, people will mainly see the image quite quickly, like it, and then move on. They won't take the time to really ask themselves what this painting is about, and honestly, I'm kind of lazy to write it in the caption. So I decided to make some videos for the paintings that I really put a lot of thought and I decided on specific color palettes, specific uh, imagery and everything else in between to really craft a message and I wanted to share that message in my own words through video. So this is going to be the first video of this kind. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, I decided to not just talk for maybe like what five minutes ish. So I filmed my painting process as I was working on this painting. So in the next few minutes, you'll be seeing me paint uh, her face, the chest and part of the arm as I talk to you about the meaning of the painting in a voiceover. At the very end, I will add a picture of the finished painting so that you can really look at it now that you know what each element means and hopefully you'll enjoy it even more. So this painting came about as a way for me to illustrate my feelings of loneliness and being distant from people during the pandemic. As you may have noticed, this is a self-portrait, however, I removed my most defining features, namely my tattoos and my face. I made this choice because while this is a painting of me and my struggles, I'm well aware that I'm not the only one who feels this way. So making the subject be me without her having my defining features leaves the viewer to maybe recognize themselves with her more. The first thing you'll notice in this painting is the subject herself and civilization in the background. She's watching the city down below and sees all the people who inhabit it as lights in the darkness while she's completely alone. She's an observer and can't interact with anyone because of how far away she finds herself. Each speck of light is a person that she's just too far away to reach. The color palette that I chose for the background was designed to be darker than what I've used in my other paintings so far, in order to express the somber nature of the subject's thoughts. Everything about the city reminds her that she's alone. But at the same time, she's so focused on these faraway strangers that she doesn't even pay attention to the viewer who's close by and giving her their attention. It's very easy to lose ourselves in watching what others have, or more accurately what we perceive they have, while being completely oblivious to what is right within our own reach, and she's no exception to that. Isolation has increased significantly during the pandemic, and while technology has made it easier than ever to interact with others, it's also made it even easier to compare one's reality to that of other people, for better or for worse. The city in this painting could easily be replaced with a Facebook or Instagram feed, and the meaning would remain the exact same. Finally, she's very much all dressed up with no place to go, wearing my favorite dress, which I had bought for an event that was cancelled because of COVID, 
such events were once my main source of socialization, and now that it can no longer be held, I often find myself to be a bit like her, feeling distant from others, just the lone outsider looking in. While I'm well aware that I'm privileged, as I'm sure my struggles are nothing compared to those who are in less fortunate situations, or people who've lost someone because of COVID. I feel like it's important that we acknowledge that we don't all need to put on a brave face all the time and admit that struggling is part of experiencing life, especially during a pandemic. This painting was my way to illustrate and share my personal perspective on what life is like in January 2021. I hope you enjoyed my take on it and feel free to share your thoughts and comments about the painting or the video.